Okay, this is Malcolm Rose, and today we're going to be playing a game called Master of Magic. This is an old DOS game. As you can see from the fact that I'm playing in DOSBox, a useful emulator for playing older games like this. This is a 4X game. I'm a big fan of these sort of resource management and empire building games. It's a lot like Civilization. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in. And I'll explain a little bit about the game, about the game as we go. So, what it is, uh, the premise is that you are, you're a wizard, and you have to defeat one, two, three, or four opponents. This is a one-player game. There is a multiplayer mod, as far as I know. It's not very good. Uh, but then again, this is an older game, a very old game, so you can kind of come to expect a little bit of limitations. Speaking of which, it's a bit glitchy, um, at least the latest version of it is pretty glitchy, but the latest official version that is, but there's a fan-made patch called Insecticide, which fixes most of those bugs, and so that's what we'll be playing today. It doesn't really change much in the actual game, it just fixes some of the crashes and spells that were working incorrectly and things like that. Uh, I more or less know what I'm doing here, so we're going to play on the hardest difficulty. Now, here's an interesting thing about this game. It has sort of a rough around the edges sort of feel to it. It um, could, You could say that it's unfinished in a way, uh, at least in, compar in comparison to modern games. It feels like they didn't pay much attention to balance, but in my mind that actually gives this game kind of a charming sort of appeal. It's, it's more interesting in some ways because it didn't pay attention to balance. There are a lot of weird, janky things you can do with it. Strategies that you could pursue that you just wouldn't see in a game that pays a ton of attention to balance. I think that if a game pays too much attention to balance, uh, well, it'll end up very balanced, but it also will end up kind of bland. It's very difficult to make a game that's super interesting and is also that devoted to balancing everything out. Uh, we will make, we will, we will set the game up to have a medium land size. So, just like Civilization, you have a world, you know, and you have a certain amount of land and water, and this just determines how much land there is versus water. Small, you'll end up with islands, and medium, you'll have decent sized land masses. We'll just jump right in here. So the first thing you do when you make your character is you can either pick one of these pre-made wizards or you can click custom and pick a portrait. We'll pick this goatee guy. And then, once you pick your portrait and your name, you start building your actual character. You have 11 picks, and you can put those into these books, which essentially is how schooled you are in magic of different schools. You can pick death or life, but not both, or you can just pick neither. And uh, if you don't use all your picks on books, you can pick retorts, which are these little options up here. Sort of modifications or augmentations to how your game is going to, going to go. For example, alchemy costs one pick, and is very useful because it lets you turn gold into magic points and magic points into gold at a one-to-one -one ratio. So one gold for one magic. Everybody else can do that, but they have to pay two gold to get one magic and vice versa. However, we're going to keep things simple and I'm just going to show you one of those janky strategies that makes this game interesting to me. We're just going to go full death picks. Now, normally what you would do here, if you had not picked full books in one school, is you would get to pick some common spells, and that would be it. But because we are fully devoting ourselves to death magic, we instead get two uncommon spells and one rare spell. So I think we will, in fact, take Rack. And I'll, I'll explain what some of these spells do later. We'll definitely take Shadow Demons. And what else? Let's 
Taking a look at these spells here. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll just take Black Prayer. That'll be fine. And we'll click Done. Now, once you've picked your books, your retorts, and whatever spells you can, you then get to pick a race. If you've taken the Mirin Retort, you get to choose from a set of superior races, and you also start on a different plane. I'll explain more on that later. But because we didn't pick that, we are stuck with more mundane races. But there are significant differences between these. Orcs are very average, for instance, whereas high men can build pretty much all the buildings except for fantastic stables. Of course, it takes a while to do that. High elves grow slowly, but they also generate magic points for you for each citizen. And so on and so forth. Clackons have reduced unrest. A lot of differences between each race, but the thing about this is that you can conquer other races, no problem with that. And we're going to be doing a lot of that, and the thing is, it doesn't really tell you on this screen, but depending on what race you are, it will reduce unrest in the cities of the other races you conquer, or it will raise it, depending on how your relations are with that particular race. And there's a chart for this. But halflings, as it turns out, are the best at ruling over other races. And we're going to be doing a lot of conquering this game, and not a lot of expanding. So we're going to pick halflings. Finally, once you pick your race, you get to pick a banner. This is purely cosmetic. We'll just pick purple because death magic is the darkest color. Seems appropriate, right? Now, it is a little bit difficult to get this game running well in DOSBox. Unfortunately, with these older games, you tend to have to do a little bit of micromanagement. Uh, I've noticed there is a little slowdown when you're starting a game, but I've mostly eliminated it while playing. We'll just use the default name here. So you'll notice immediately that we have two guys here, and you always start with this. One set of swordsmen for your race, and one set of spearmen. And you come, you, uh, come equipped with one city as well. Everything else is randomized in terms of what's around it. And you start with four citizens. Technically that is 4,000 because each one of these figures represents 1,000 people. You will see that this represents how much food you're making for this city. This represents how much production. This represents the money that you're paying for the buildings for upkeep. This represents the taxes that you're getting from these guys. And this represents how much mana you're getting from this city. We can change this out to farm more or farm less. So the ones with the little pitchforks, I guess, are the farmers, and the ones that are just standing there are the workers. Since halflings make a lot of food, we can make four food to feed these people and two more food to feed these two guys and keep these two guys on production. And we're going to actually build a granary first. Some people like to build housing first. Uh, it's probably more optimal to build housing, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Because these buildings that you can build have different effects, and the granary actually gives you extra food and another 20 people per turn. So it's good to get early, if you can. Housing, on the other hand, is a special kind of project it doesn't have a turn ending time, but it does increase the amount of population you get per turn based on your production. Now the first thing we're going to do is split up this army and we're going to start exploring around us. Let's take a look at these two towers. Now we can't defeat unicorns yet. It appears that unicorns are guarding this tower. So we're just going to click no, but now we know that there are unicorns there. So we have some information for the future. A great worm. Definitely can't beat that. So before we click turn, let's take a look at the magic screen, which also doubles as a diplomacy screen. You'll see four crystals here, and once you meet wizards, you can talk to them, making trade deals for spells, or making alliances, suing for peace, that kind of thing. 
for this little area, this is how we're allocating our spell power. This bar represents how much spell power you're devoting to gaining points to your magic reserve each turn. That's basically your, your magic points. It's what you use to cast spells. This bar represents your research. We're going to turn that down really low because we're not really interested in researching spells quickly right now. And this bar represents magic skill. Casting skill is what allows you to cast in combat. You can only use up to 22 points. Even if I had 2,000 magic points total, in one combat I could only spend 22 of them. Increasing this will increase how much your casting skill goes up every turn. And it will slowly raise. Going to the next turn, we see that it's time for us to start researching a spell. Uh, we are just going to pick Dispel Magic. We're not terribly concerned with research right now. And we'll send our troops out, just to take a look around. Um, I almost forgot. We can cast spells already. We could do one of these global summoning spells, which would give us some skeletons, or ghouls, or even shadow demons. We could cast Dark Rituals, which is a city enchantment, and will increase some of the mana that we get from our temples and shrines, but we don't really have any of those yet. Also, it reduces population growth. Presumably, they're sacrificing people to power your magic game, so we won't be doing that. We could also summon a magic spirit, which is useful for nodes, and I'll tell you more about nodes later. You can also enchant your units on the overworld with certain spells, such as Cloak of Fear, and you'll notice it has two different casting costs listed, 12 and 60. If I cast it on the overworld, I pay 60 mana, and then I have to pay one mana per turn. For as, as long as that unit is enchanted, I'm paying one mana per turn. If I cast it in combat, it only costs 12 mana, and doesn't have an upkeep. However, it would then disappear after the combat's over. We're going to very quickly summon some Shadow Demons for 195 mana. Now we only have 12 mana, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and put almost everything into magic, actually, so that we can gain mana quickly and get those Shadow Demons out. Our main strategy here is going to be to use Shadow Demons to basically conquer the world. A very useful early game unit. Looks like we've already found something. A hamlet. This is a neutral city, you can tell because it has a brown flag. And we haven't met any wizards yet, so we know it's neutral for sure. Uh, this neutral city is a barbarian city. And so we could conquer them, as long as we can defeat these three swordsmen. Now we can only see what's defending it if we have a unit nearby. And on top of that, what you should know is that as long as a neutral place is has not been conquered, like a city or even one of those towers or dungeons or anything that we've seen, neutral units can come out of it and attack your cities. So they're a bit of a liability, and you should be aware of it. Let's see, our granary is done. So we're going to actually build some housing for a little while, because we need some halflings. And we'll just kind of explore around the city. Let's go ahead and make an armory. We would like to get some slingers up, which is a its a useful halfling unit, which, just as the name implies, is able to sling bullets out of a slingshot at people. Stone giant here. This is a node. If you summon a magic spirit after clearing the defenders of a node, you can meld with that node with your spirit. 
and then you are able to get magic points or spell power out of a node until someone else takes it. There are nodes of each color of magic and if you are fighting at that node magic will usually be counterspelled that is to say your spell will just fizzle if it's not the color of that node. There's no such thing as a life node or a death node and so we're at a bit of a disadvantage fighting in nodes. You can check our spell. Shadow Demons is almost done. That's a big plus for us. I think we're actually... Hmm, yes, we'll, we'll try to finish this armory. So we want to get some troops up to defend our city in case something bad happens. And we have Shadow Demons. These Shadow Demons cost 7 points every turn. 7 mana every turn to maintain, but that's worth it. Shadow Demons are a very special unit because they are able to not just fly, or rather they're, well yes, they do sort of fly, they're non-corporeal. Uh, but the other thing is they're immune to weapons, so anything that's not magical will basically not hurt it. They're immune to illusions, so illusion attacks will not cut through their defense. But the biggest thing is they regenerate. So every turn in combat, they gain hit points, and if you win the combat and they've died, they'll come back. Another special thing about them is they have plane shift. Plane shift allows the unit to sh shift back and forth between the planes at will. You see, this game has two worlds. We're on Arcanus right now, but if I click plane, now I'm on a place called Mirror. And it's sort of like a parallel universe almost. For every square on Arcanus, there is a corresponding square on Mirror. And I find this mechanic to be really interesting. I really like it. Normally, the only way to travel between planes is to use one of these towers, which you have to clear the defenses around first. But Shadow Demons are special. Hmm. However, we are going to try to clear the defenses here. Because... Unicorns can't attack me because I'm flying. So... We can slowly clear the defenses here if we want to. We may not be able to get this in the first try. But we regenerate. So if we lose some shadow demons, that's fine. We'll just click done a few times. and then we'll fight some more. Now, there is a time limit on battles. Something like 50 turns, I think. So, if too much time elapses, unfortunately, we may have to try this again. Because what happens is, if you run out of time in the battle, it says attackers retreat exhausted, and you keep your units, but they go back to the square they started in. This isn't so bad. And we will get some sort of treasure from defeating this. And we like treasure. That could be anything from gold to magic points to an artifact that heroes could wear or a spell we could learn a spell from it. Okay, we'll make some slingers to defend our city. And let's go back into the fight. The things that we killed stay dead. So we very quickly just kill these. Unfortunately, you only get a certain number of ranged shots, which is why I have to go into melee here. We gain a Cloud of Shadow spell and a sword. Now, we have no heroes right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down this sword and gain 350 mana crystals, which is a big boon this early in the game.
we have a rebel here, we're going to need to deal with that sooner or later. I like shadow demons because not only are they so defensive and powerful, I get to explore both planes at once as I walk along. Now it looks like we have a visitor, Shari, and she already is not too happy with us because we're playing on impossible and they're going to fight with us a lot. She's tense. I think we're going to probably try to rush her down. We'll see what we can do there. Maybe explore in her general direction. And she greets us with a threat. Shadow demons, just like mine, are guarding this place. We won't be fighting them for a while. We're just going to explore this nice continent. We may want to take this barbarian hamlet soon, actually. I think, I think we will head towards that. Now, it's entirely possible that Shari is on a different island because I believe these are lizardmen that she has over there. And lizardmen can swim. They're amphibious units. Yes, he's, she's right in the water, so obviously they're swimming. You may be wondering why I'm not summoning more shadow demons. Uh, I, unfortunately, will lose mana per turn from the upkeep if I do that. Just because I have that mana doesn't mean I want to waste it. But... I probably should summon some soon. Curious as to why these guys are walking forward. Because... Ah, oh, they're barbarians. They can throw at us. That's okay. Our shadow demons are much stronger than these guys. Once you take a city, you can either choose to raise it, which destroys it and gains some gold, or you can simply conquer it by saying no. We still get some gold. The only real reason to raise a city is if you're trying to destroy your opponent's cities and you can't really defend them. So now we have some barbarians. And we do have a rebel here. If we can get a couple of units here, it'll suppress that rebel. So we'd like to do that sooner than later if we can. In fact, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring our troops home. And I think we will summon some shadow demons, finally. Looks like we've met Jafar. We could probably do some trading. Let's take a look. Exchange spells. Yeah, she says learn something good and we'll talk, but really we just probably know all the spells that she knows. Uh, and so she has nothing to offer us. Alright, you know what I've been forgetting to do? I've been forgetting to... I've been forgetting to... check the other plane with my shadow demons, but that's okay. Now, it looks like... Unfortunately, uh, Jafar has attacked our swordsmen, or rather our spearmen. But we don't really need to fight this stuff, and I'm not really concerned about trying to kill it, so I'm just going to flee. We'd really like to find, we would really like to find a city on mirror to take. It looks like we finished our granary in the barbarian village. Let's make a shrine, which will also help to reduce unrest. And we'll take this lair as well. Our slingers are done, which makes me feel a little more comfortable. And 
we take out the Hellhounds, gaining 50 gold. Let's go ahead and make a shrine at our main base. But we will keep making slingers before too long. Something I think I neglected to mention was, you can make more cities with settlers. I just haven't opted to do that because we're doing more of a conquering type run. Um, but each of these squares has some sort of benefit. You have your basic land types like river, hills, mountain, and it determines things like how many population can live here. For this one it's 22, but it might be significantly less if we were to put a city really close to a bunch of mountains. Also cities cannot be built less than three squares from other cities. On top of that, some squares have special bonuses, like this square has wild game, which increases food supply by two. So this would be a pretty good place for a city, since it has access to two pieces of wild game. I might place a city there before too long, but I'm trying to keep my focus on defending the cities that I have for now. Let's check out this. It's guarded by ghouls. We can take ghouls, so we attack. walk forward. Again, this may take a couple fights to finish, but maybe not. They can't attack us because we are flying. We can attack them, and then we kind of swoop down and they get a chance to attack us. So, this is a bit cheesy, but that's, that's what I like about this game, is that there are these cheesy strategies. You can do kind of Things, things that you would consider to be a little bit overpowered or unbalanced in another game, I find to be very interesting in this game. There we go. Oh, inside we find a prisoner. This is interesting. We get this hero. Now, she's a really good person to get, for free, because not only is she a caster, meaning that if we can get her to our main base, we gain some skill as long as she's there, she happens to have spawned with the noble trait, so she's going to give us 10 gold per turn instead of costing an upkeep. And so of course we will take her, and we'll keep the default name. Unfortunately, she's a bit trapped down here in Mirror. However, we cleared out these unicorns so we could somehow get her across this ocean we can get her into our base. We have more shadow demons. Unfortunately, we're losing four mana a turn now. So we do need to watch out for that. So let's go ahead and take out these phantom beasts. And then we'll get ourselves access to that node. Our armies are reaching the Barbarian City. And we'll go ahead and start summoning the magic spirit that we'll need. There he is. He can move two squares per turn. Now you'll see that the rebels are gone because we have two guys suppressing them. Guarded by many war bears. We will not send her in there. As much as, as much as we'd like to get experience for her, too much risk of her dying. Instead, we're just going to take them out as usual with these shadow demons. And enjoy the free spoils that come along with it. Hundred and twenty mana crystals, that's quite nice. Here's something interesting Adamantium Ore. Not only does that give us two power if we were to build a city next to this, we would be able to have Adamantium weapons on our troops. 
which give a tremendous attack bonus. We'll attack here. And these phantoms, again, cannot attack air. And so we clear them out quite easily. When we go into melee, it'll certainly help that we are immune to illusions. Just waiting for our health to regenerate due to our regeneration power. And we've taken the node, and we find a big pile of gold in there. Can't complain about that. We'll meld, so we lose the... We lose the spirit, but we gain access to this node, and you can see because our colors are now sparkling around it. Let's take a look at this. Haven't explored this temple yet. Zombies inside, we can certainly take these. We'll just turn it on auto. Very easy fight. 30 gold. So you can see that you only get so much in the way of risk versus reward. Now if we click turn... Oops. Right. We can see that we found a city down here. It's another barbarian city. Let's take it over. We finished our shrine in our main city, meaning that the unrest has reduced. Let's go ahead and make some more slingers, because we're going to need to have an army to defend this. Also, it appears as though our new friend Shari has unfortunately made an outpost near our base. That's obnoxious, isn't it? Lizardmen. But we'll focus on clearing out these barbarians first of the neutral group, because we're not actually at war yet. So if we can avoid if we can avoid angering her just yet, that would be great. Got some werewolves and zombies coming. So we may have to defend that city with our shadow demons. Notice we're gaining my man nine mana per turn now, so let's make even more shadow demons. Because we can support them. The sorcery node is unexplored. With good reason, it has a sky drake, so we can't fight that. Skydrakes are one of the more powerful units in the game. Looks like Jafar has attacked us with his Nagas, but I think we can beat him, unless he casts some kind of particularly nasty spell on us. Counter magic, we're not afraid of that. Fireball, mm. And we take it out, so that's not so bad. Uh, it seems as though... Rampaging monsters may be heading towards our main base. So let's spend 255 gold and rush the production of these slingers. Because I do not want to die to some werewolves this early in the game. And we may even have our shadow demons by then, but maybe not. Hmm, do we want to attack? It looks like they're fighting each other, so that's a bonus. I think we are going to attack. We're going to raise the city to the ground. The 
This unit has Guardian Wind, which protects it from regular spells, or rather regular missile attacks, but it does not protect it from the kind of magic that my Shadow Demons do. And we'll raise it to the ground. 61 gold pieces were looted, the city has been completely destroyed. We don't really have any interest in trying to protect a city all the way over there. He's a bit upset at me, but I don't really care. Hmm. We will make a temple here, mainly because we're trying to get mana. We may even Dark Rituals it before too long. As our main hurdle here is getting more mana for Shadow Demons. Another useful thing about these Shadow Demons is I can move them onto Muror and explore that way and not have to worry about being attacked by his troops. Not that I'm terribly afraid of it right now, but it is possible he could beat them. We'll make a temple here, too. Hmm. Yes, we will, we will start casting Dark Rituals before too long. We're going to put a few more points into skill, because skill also determines how much mana per turn you can channel into your spells. You see, we'd really like to be able to summon these Shadow Demons a lot faster. Night Stalker. I think we can take that. He is apparently able to attack us, which surprises me. I think. I mean, he's moving toward us, so he must be able to. But it looks like he walks, so I'm a little bit confused on how. Maybe he counts as incorporeal. Oh well, we win. We win and we gain gold and mana crystals. An unexplored cave. Let's go ahead and explore it. Fire elementals, we can beat those. Of course, we have a lot of nastiness headed our way. So we may want to use some magic to support our troops this time. We'll use Black Prayer to start with. Well, I guess that's all we'll cast, but that'll reduce their defense and attack significantly. Good. The dogs are only able to attack us because they have something called fire breathing. Oddly enough, fire elementals do not. I can expect a decent reward from this place, considering how well it was defended. At least I think so. Okay, 110 gold and a wraiths spell. We may even consider summoning some wraiths. They're a very good unit. Because anytime you kill something with a wraith, with its life-stealing attack, I want to say that it turns it into a zombie for you, or an undead version of the unit. I might be thinking of Death Knights, though. More of these lizardmen settlers. Even the settlers can go through the water. That's going to become a city before too long. A bit obnoxious. Maybe we'll explore looking for her. Should we spend 400 gold on a temple? I think we should.
He attacks us, he being the neutral monsters. Bit of a pain, hopefully we can live, because for the most part our mana only, our spells only affect living units. And those are undead. In fact, if I try to black sleep him, we'll see that he's immune to death spells. What a shame, huh? We may be in big trouble, actually. I'm not even sure if Black Prayer will work against them. But we're going to use it just in case. Oh, we are in trouble. Hmm. Hopefully they don't destroy this city. That's very bad. Oh, man. Okay, good. The monsters rampage through the city and then disappear into the wilderness. We could have lost the entire city. That's it's very bad but, oh my god, we lost seven, wow, that is nasty, wow, well, that's, that's depressing, um, but that's okay, we're mainly relying on shadow demons anyway, this is why you should defend your city better, but usually slingers can do the job, the thing is that not only am I playing on impossible, I have the game set to... I have the game set with yeah, settings. I have rampaging monsters on, monsters gone wild. So the rampaging monster groups are actually doubled. So we're playing on quite a strong difficulty level when it comes to that kind of thing. Normally we probably wouldn't have to deal with a monster as strong as a werewolf that quickly. However, that's not to say it's not our fault. We should have done better. I had hoped that my shadow demons would show up sooner. When we do get the next set, we will simply have them protect the city. Oh, hello. This demon is attacking. It's funny, the pop-up said that there were ghouls here, not a demon. Usually it'll show you the most powerful unit, but not always. That's fine. We finish it out anyway. Okay, we've explored everywhere that this hero can get. So she's more or less stuck here for the time being. What a shame. Okay, we have more Shadow Demons. Let's go ahead and cast Dark Rituals. We'll patrol the demons there. And we'll keep going. Suffered a pretty major setback. But I don't think the game is over. We probably shouldn't do Dark Rituals on this city after all. It needs to grow back, but we're mainly going to use it as a place to make, as a place to make magic points for us now. So, because of that, we now get three points doubled up from the three points that we got from the Shrine of the Temple. And it only reduces our growth rate from 30 to, or from 190 to 160, so losing 130 is not that bad. We'll raise our skill a bit. Let's see if we can't take this node. We can't. It's got sky drakes. Um, that's an outpost. Let's let it grow a little bit. 
we'll move over here. If we destroy an outpost, I don't think we get much in the way of gold. Let's blow it up when it becomes a hamlet. With the power of Dark Ritual, our mana should grow significantly. Especially once we get these temples and things online. We'll summon some more shadow demons, I think. Ah, there we go, it's a hamlet now. We'll raise it, we get 30 gold. We lose fame for doing that, but I can't say that I care. I would really rather have the resources because we are behind now. And hopefully soon we can find someone's main base. Because we would really like to kill a wizard or at least banish a wizard. Oh my. Did I mess up that badly? I could have sworn I had something guarding this. I may lose this city. Hmm. Can we do anything about this in time? We could make some spearmen, but it won't be enough. We're just going to have to hope that they rampage through and don't kill any, don't destroy the whole city. Because spearmen will not be enough to defeat that army. But that's okay, we have another city to destroy here. And this is a more put together one, so we should get more gold. should be able to take the city right now. At least I think so. Shouldn't take too many turns. To clear out all these guys. Yes, I will raise it to the ground, gaining 332 gold pieces. That's good. Unfortunately, we may very well lose this one. Rampage to the city and disappear into the wilderness. Then we lose some of the gold that we just gained, but that's okay. It could be a lot worse. We'll buy a shrine here. Oh wait, oh, that's a mistake. I didn't even see that army. What a shame. With any luck, he won't raise it. Instead, he will conquer it, and then we'll just send some shadow demons to retake. Explored node here. Sky Drake, we can't take it. Now, if these Nagas go here, we may have a rough time chasing them off. So, hopefully, they don't. And he conquers that city. That's okay. We'll have another Shadow Demon soon and we'll take it back.
It's a real shame we haven't run into his main base yet. Okay, here we go. Good. He goes for our capital. Looking rather worse for the wear these days. Alright, very good. Very good. We have found his capital, and we're going to conquer it. Or die trying. This thief may cause us a problem, but I don't think that the thief hero can attack at range. No, he can't. Excellent. Let's just walk forward a bit. And we should be able to clear this out. Waiting for our shadow demons to come back before we do our attacks. Thanks to regeneration. These Halberdiers are quite strong. So, depending on how the attack rolls go, we may end up having to attack again. But regeneration really does do the work for us with these Shadow Demons. Unlike those other cities, we're going to conquer it. We get 478 gold pieces. And we defeat Jafar. Usually it would say banish, but we must have done enough damage to him that he didn't want to try to come back. Because if you take somebody's capital, they can come back if they want to by casting the spell of return. which costs a good amount of mana. And generally, it's very difficult to come back because you don't have a fortress while you're gone. And so, you're not making much mana. And you'd have to turn gold into mana if you were out entirely, if you wanted to actually come back as a wizard. So you can still control your units and everything, but your ability to wage magical war is severely diminished while you're banished. But we've already defeated a, an opponent, and that's very good. Unfortunately, these Clackons are not terribly religious. All they can make is the shrine. And so, I really should have just destroyed this city, come to think of it. Especially with all these rampaging monsters near it. I think that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it on trade goods, and I'm not going to care very much if it gets destroyed. Because defending it is just, well... If I could leave the shadow demons here to do it, it would be fine. But look how much mana it's producing for me. Almost nothing. What a shame. These Clackons are just not... They're not terribly good at uh, magical stuff. Now, they are good at mundane fighting. So if we wanted to, we could push towards... Um, we could push towards... The Stag Beetle, which is a good unit that they have. But we're always going to have a lot of unrest with these guys because Clackons don't like being conquered by anybody. So I think we're just going to leave them to die. Well, we will take out this invasion. These Clackons do suck. Yeah. 
the thing is that even though their units are fairly strong, defending that city against neutral invasions, eh, just for the sake of a city that produces one magic point for me, I'm not so sure, considering our strategy. But it's the thing is, it's with the with the rampaging monsters where we have it set to double strength. Unless we could keep a shadow demon parked there all the time. Eh. It was burning to the ground. Maybe we can even get Cherie to take this with her settlers. And then I can raise that to the ground. However, let's check out these nodes real fast. A basilisk. We'll try it. Wait, am I confused? Is it because of the stone gaze attack that they can attack me? I didn't think they'd be able to do that. Hmm. Well, we can't beat these guys if they can attack us. And they certainly can if they're chasing us, so we have to flee. Good, we didn't lose the Shadow Demon. That would have been obnoxious. Air Elementals, we're not going to be able to fight those. And we've learned something today. Stuff with Stone Gaze is able to attack us. All right. Shadow Demons have taken our city back. It's well protected. And I think we're just going to buy this temple. And we will cast our Dark Ritual spell on it as well. Very good. Looks like our capital is recovering a bit. And we have a lot of magic coming in from these guys now. That's a plus, right? Maybe this Chaos Node will give us a little bit of power. A Great Drake. No, not, not able to defeat that at all. This is a clack on city, which it is. I think we're just going to we're just going to ignore these, and we're going to continue flying east to find our next wizard to kill. Hmm. We could make a standing army here. Actually, we have extra gold lying around. All right, sure. We'll work towards stag beetles. If it if the city survives long enough, then fine. But I don't think I'm going to keep my shadow demons there. And the reason for that is that they would be better served conquering cities for me. Speaking of conquering cities, let's make some more shadow demons. This is a bit of a rush strategy. Certainly possible to play this game slower. But that would probably require a bit more video editing. All right, this is a random event. Our little cat familiar here is telling us that there is a red conjunction. And so if we had any red nodes, which we don't, we would gain some power. Um, unfortunately, I think that I believe, let's see, one of these guys will tell you what happened last turn and it will pop that little thing up again. The Chancellor, yeah, red conjunction. So we, I think next turn we're going to be getting a lot less mana. Yeah, unfortunately our, our mana supply from that blue node is reduced. 
I would love to take more nodes, but they're usually very well defended. And we can't take any of the very powerful monsters that are guarding the ones that are around our base. Looks like we've found, I think this is red. Yes, we found Merlin and he already hates us. Wow, uh, I guess because he's a life mage and we're a death mage. And we have Shari showing up with a dragon turtle. Although he has nice things to say to us, oddly enough. Hmm. I think it's about time for us to head east. It wouldn't hurt us to expand into the mirror plane using this tower, and then we could finally make a ship that brings our friend back to our main base. Didn't forget about her, did you? Let's buy some settlers. We're not going to attack here. Not yet. We're going to try to locate... We're going to try to locate the... main base. And we're going to try to snipe it. Hopefully this nasty conjunction ends soon. Some more magic. Ah, there we go. Chaos Conjunction is over. Very good. I think because I'm non-corporeal, roads will not do anything for me. Let's find out. Yes, that's right. Usually a road will have the amount of power, or excuse me, the amount of movement that you spend. But for a non-corporeal unit like Shadow Demons, that's unfortunately not the case. We found a Lycanthropy spell. That turns some of our units into werewolves, the same ones that destroyed our base, or tried to anyway. Hey, there we go. Slingers, huh? And a Wind Mage. We might be able to kill this guy. We might not. Ah, we have found Freya, who seems to have a base here in the mirror plane. Makes me question whether I want to settle here. She does have Beastmen, which are one of those superior races from the Mirror Plane. I keep wanting to call it the Underdark. Sort of some similarities there. We will make a little halfling city here. And she throws some insults at us. Storm Giant, we don't want to fight that. Shall we try? The Bard and the Wind Mage are both casters, so this may be difficult. I think we're going to give it a shot. Taking this giant orc city will benefit us quite a lot. Oh no. He's able to cast 
dispel evil on us. That does a lot of damage to our units. Hmm. Well, we could cast Mana Leak, which would prevent them from doing that too many times. Or we could cast Rack, which wouldn't really help too much. Hmm. Let's use Mana Leak. It might help us. The most damage we're taking is from... Unfortunately, it's from that ability... Let's see if we can't kill the Wind Mage. He's stupidly splitting his attacks. Okay, good. Whew. Let's wait until we get our guys back. The Slayers won't be able to do much damage to us. If any, I don't think they can actually damage us because they're not magical. And we have weapon immunity. Uh, here we go, excellent. Let's wait until we have four units on each one. Wait, am I not regenerating? Why am I not regenerating? Has the game glitched out, perhaps? Well, that's obnoxious. Does Dispel Evil have some sort of side effect? Hmm. What a shame. Um. Hmm. Well, we're going to try to kill this guy. He's dead, so that'll be easier the next time we try to attack. But I suppose that the spell is sort of like a banishing, and so we don't get those units back until after the combat. Uh, we got hurt quite a bit there. Will we regenerate from that? No, we won't. What a shame. Uh, I don't know why that's happening. It must be... <sighs> curious. Very curious. We'll only regenerate up to the point that we lost the units from Dispel Evil. I have no idea it worked like that. And Lydia just doesn't want to seem to take any damage from us. Shouldn't surprise us too much considering how many shadow demons we have. Which is not many. Well, that's fine. We'll have taken out the Wind Mage. So as units retreat exhausted. And we have our shadow demons back. So that's that could have gone worse. But we would really like some more shadow demons. Uh oh, Cherie has a Doom Bat. That very much might be able to kill our Shadow Demons. We need more resources. We're going to attack the city. Hopefully we'll kill it. Hmm. Because if we can kill this and raise it, we might get a lot of gold.
Now we could conquer the Beastmen. They're a pretty good race, considering they're a mirror race, so they're going to be a little bit better. But I don't want to play defense here, and we get 532 gold, which is pretty good. Let's try again on this main city. Okay, good. They're healing and not dispelling my guys. It's fine. Starfires won't do much to us. I suspect the Wind Mage had access to that Dispel Evil spell, but the actual wizard does not. Alright, this is excellent. We will win this fight. And in theory, we should gain a ton of mana from taking out his main base. And we're actually going to conquer it. Because... Orcs are fun to enslave. Presumably it's going to be an incredibly well-built city. And we'll probably immediately cast Dark Rituals on it. If we can ever kill these unicorns. Only lost the War College and four men, but we got 1900 gold. And it looks like because we killed one of their troops, we get an item. Now we could teleport it over there for 20 mana crystals to our little friend. Uh, and it's quite a nice weapon, but honestly I could use the giant pile of mana crystals from it instead. Jeez. Now it says I banished Merlin, it doesn't say I defeated him. There's a reason for that. He's going to start casting the spell of return. But until he returns, he can't cast magic. There we go, look at this. This is a well put together city. Jeez. That's nice. We'll do a good job defending that, or at least we'll try to. Now, we'll certainly start summoning some shadow demons soon, but first, dark rituals. And now, shadow demons. Look at that. Look at all that from dark rituals. Isn't that nice? Even more once we get the cathedral. What we'll do is we'll probably leave one set of shadow demons in the city. Ah, uh, we learned a spell from conquering that guy and it was the one we were researching. Let's research possession instead. Hmm. Haven't explored this lair. We can go ahead and take a look at it. Ah, uh, Great Drake. Can't do that. So we'll send this shadow demon out. Looks like the game really doesn't want me to have a city down here. Merlin's forces are attacking us, but he can't really cast spells to back them up, so we're going to very easily clear this out. Okay, seems like... This place can make stag beetles, although it might lose troops, lose to those troops over there. Depending on where he's going, it looks like he's dropped off quite an army at our shore. But that's Merlin, the guy we just killed, or rather banished. Not too afraid of him. Clearing out some more of these neutral bases. Because we could always use more gold, always use more mana, or if we're lucky, we might even get a spell book or something from it. And look at all this stockpile. 
Looks like that's a neutral city now. Well, huh, oddly enough, it let me keep it. Okay, that's fine. Not too concerned about that city. Hmm. We're going to continue down here. More reward in mirror if you're able to kill things. Okay, um, it looks like he conquered this city, but that's okay. We don't care over much about Clacons. We're more concerned about the loss of 500 gold, but we'll just take these orcs. We'll just click auto. Very easy to win this fight. into skill. Black Cathedral here, and as soon as these Shadow Demons are done, we will summon the Dark Rituals again. Now, I really don't want these, um, I'd really prefer it I didn't have these shadow demons endlessly guarding this place. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend a thousand gold on this cathedral, and then we're going to make some magicians to defend this instead. And that'll save us a little bit of trouble. Alright. Making a little extra food here. I'm not really sure where it's coming from. I suppose I can't complain. We'll buy a Parthenon here too. have the ultimate level of magic producing building that these particular guys can make and so we get we get quite a lot we get just from the dark rituals alone we get six points so our spell power is really going crazy which is nice we'll just kind of focus on building this city up for now hopefully we can get a shadow demon or something guarding it before too long uh, let's make a shaman here Some ghouls. Very good, we should be able to take this out. Again, we see that there's a demon, even though it just said ghouls, but that's okay. We'll just finish them out, and hopefully we get a decent reward from this. And we did. We got some armor. Now, I could destroy this for 150 mana crystals, but I actually kind of want to put it on her. Maybe not yet, but once she's in the base, because it has plus one movement, and that's pretty handy if I need to actually move her anywhere quickly. Looks like we have a population boom in that little halfling city we put in Mirror. Hmm. Let's work towards the cathedral here. Actually, we should we should make sure we remember to dark rituals this other orc city that we got. Very good. More of these. Let's go ahead and make a Shipwrights Guild here. We'll just buy it. Then we can make a Trireme and finally get our friend back 
to our base and have a little more spell casting skill as she as she boosts it for us. We'd really like to find the main base of these two people, because they seem to have an alliance. They're working together. They want us dead. If I had to guess, her main base is probably down here somewhere. We'll just avoid that doom bat. Thankfully, we have our magicians now. Now, what to do with these shadow demons? I think we'll send them west, where we haven't explored yet. Hopefully, we find something good. Awesome. And we'll make a trireme, and we'll just spend money on it. Meanwhile, we cast our rituals here. Looks like we have dark rituals in every single one of our cities. Except for Eventon, which is, that's fine. That's just the tiny little halfling one. Wouldn't really benefit us to put it there. And we'll take this city as well. And we take out these orcs. This is a valuable addition to our empire. All of these orc cities. Unfortunately, we blew up the temple, but that's okay. Hmm. Let's check out this temple. A night stalker. We can do that. Hopefully there aren't too many, I see just two. Very good. Maybe we'll get some useful spoils here. Just a mace. A pummel mace. A very crabby mace. We'll just destroy this and get some crystals out of it. We really badly need skill, so I think we're going to boost that significantly now. Uh-oh, we've been attacked by Freya with our shadow demons. She may have some magic that can deal with these now. But it seems like not really... I'm curious that she's casting Ice Bolt on us, because these have ice immunity. Cold immunity. But this is a good sign. This means she has not yet developed any kind of magic that can deal with this problem. Which means if we hurry, we might be able to take her out. And we'll put Dark Rituals here too. Making sure that all of our cities are appropriately evil. Okay, we have a trireme, and finally, finally, our city will grow. I mean, finally, we'll be able to get her out, but also Eventon will grow with this population boom. I was just noticing that it seems to be growing very slowly, even though it was building housing for a while. All right. That's good. We will send the 
magician here. And we'll send the shaman from there to here. And we'll just go ahead and take our leave of this place. Slowly exploring the entire map on both worlds. But also doing our best to keep our cities defended as we summon more shadow demons to do our bidding. Alright. We get our hero disembarked, and now soon we'll be in the main city again. Isn't that nice? Eventon's been conquered by who? Oh, I guess... Oh, they sent a doom bat. That's okay. Uh, we'll let him build it up for us for a while. The important thing is, we have our hero here now. And if I had to guess, I would think that we're about to go into the heart of Freya's territory. Let's take a look at this temple. We might be able to get a little something out of that. It's guarded by ghouls. Nice fat army here. Shouldn't cause us a problem, but should have some good loot. Generate a bit. And we'll mop up these zombies, which are pretty easy. But not so easy that we don't have to make sure we have four guys. Another strategy that abuses this regeneration effect is to just start with, ah, we have to attack again, is to just start with trolls. Trolls will all regenerate and you can do similar things with them. These are pretty well defended now with two magicians each. We should be okay. as long as it's only Merlin we're up against there. Looks like we finished Parthenon, so we're getting a ton of mana again from here. That's kind of funny, he made an orc expansion in the mirror plane. Must be a tower here. Yes, there is. Okay, that was the one with the ghouls and the zombies. Let's finish this out. 170 gold and a wand. Wands are useful for different kinds of heroes that can only use wands. They're more magical. We can't even equip it on her. However, this particular wand has plus five spell skill. So instead of destroying it for 225, we're gonna keep it in case we find somebody that can make use of it. Let's, um, let's clear out these settlers. Ooh, there's a big city. Yes, we want that. Oh boy. And we'll start making more magicians to defend this area. Hmm. He did try to attack us, but we have two magicians here. Let's see if we can give them a little bit of help. We're gonna cast, we're gonna cast Rack. And you'll see why. Rack will clear them out nicely. 
Wreck can do one damage for each unit in the stack if they fail a resistance roll. So it's very good against large armies of small units. And we'll take the city. As these shadow demons are done, we will go ahead and dark rituals that place. If there's a unit, hmm, we don't want to fight an angel, there might be more than one, so we won't go in there. If there's a unit on the other plane where you're trying to plane shift, it'll just say that you can't. This is a nicely developed city. Hmm. You know what we should be doing? We should be casting Life Drain because that can increase our spell skill by turning enemy life into, into spell skill points. That's something we've forgotten to do this whole game. Not good. Suppose we'll get Wall of Darkness. We've summoned more of these Shadow Demons. And we'll cast Dark Rituals. Freya had some powerful units sniffing around over here. And there's this massive city next to our base, but I really don't want to fool with her yet. Not just yet. our bases. Maybe soon we will come across our actual home. All right, we determined there was an angel there, so we'll go this way. This is a tiny little base. Do we want to take it out and probably finish off Merlin other than this base over here? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I think we will. Oh boy. That's not good. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's not good at all. Uh, maybe Rack will kill them. Jeez. That... Oh, damn it. Okay, that's okay. We lost a Shadow Demon. I didn't quite think that. Uh, I didn't think that shamans would do that much damage to us. We needed our two. Shadow Demons for that, not just one. That's okay, we've got all the good cities. And we're going to summon more of these guys. Trying to increase the amount of skill that we have too. Ah, we found our main base. Unfortunately, she is just swimming with basilisks here. And we can't beat all this. However, with this magic road, we can get a nice exploration of the area. Looks like there are some draconians here. Hmm. 
Let's try it, even though they can fly and come towards us. We'll just cast Rack and it should kill them. Take a little step backwards here. Yes. Not as good of an effect as I had hoped, but... If we have enough mana, we will start life draining. Enough skill, that is. And just maybe we'll get some skill out of this. Hmm, a little bit. And we're just going to walk away and let Rack do most of the work here. Now, are we actually going to capture this city? Probably not. We can't really defend it very well, most likely. We could certainly defeat all these guys, just maybe not at the same time. That's why we're walking away and reducing the amount of attacks that we take from them. See, we've already lost a Shadow Demon. Now we will fight, though. We'll raise it to the ground and gain 72 gold. In fact, what we might do, I think we're actually just going to build up an army here. Yes. Uh, of Wyvern Riders. And then we'll just send it to take care of our enemies down there. And eventually, we will be able to kind of use this as a power base to make, to make armies out of every city. Assuming we don't mess this up. Hmm. Make the Sages Guild. Actually, we'll go for the Parthenon first, since we need more magic power. This doesn't really have anything we're too worried about, other than the two priests. So, let's raise this city to the ground, since she pretty much already hates us. Oh, she's got fire magic now. That's not great. It's not great for us, that is. Let's pump a bunch of extra mana into this life drain and try to take out these priests. Good for us. She um, uses Ice Bolt on us. Jeez. Trying to avoid taking damage from those draconians, but we lose a shadow demon anyway. So it's not going too hot for us. But not to worry. More shadow demons on the way. He declares war on us, but I'm fairly certain he was trying to kill us anyway. Nothing of value lost. Hmm. Right. It's a bit odd that there's just this city by itself here. You'd think that she would have expanded a little more down here if this is where her main base is, don't you think? Hmm. It's a bit odd to me, just a little bit. Hopefully we can have a little more luck. Looks like we haven't explored this dungeon yet. Maybe we can get some easy loot out of it. 
Or maybe we can even check out this tower and kill the units there. I'm going to put even more mana into skill because I really need to be able to cast these shadow demons faster if I want to survive. Maybe even summon some wraiths soon. Unfortunately, gaining skill is a bit of a slow process. We would have more if I had remembered to cast a little more Life Drain. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get a Forester's Guild here. Just a little bit of micromanagement. Check our cities again and make sure we have Dark Rituals on all of them. We do. Let's see. Do we want to summon some Wraiths? Wraiths do Life Drain. Life Stealing. And so they gain hit points when they attack. And if you kill something, you will get a unit back. So if you kill some Halfling Slingers with raids, you will get undead Halfling Slingers. But unfortunately that costs a mana per turn. I'm not sure if it's worth it. Maybe. Maybe. But I think that we should stick to Shadow Demons for now. Because they cost less and they are a little bit more reliable in my opinion. And we're not summoning things very quickly anyway. Hmm, so we may as well go for the thing that's cheaper. Looks like she's got a Doom Bat here. Not sure if we can beat a Doom Bat with a single set of Shadow Demons. What we really need to do sooner than later probably, is group these shadow demons together. Ah, here we go. Centaurs and... Just some generic units here. They can't really damage our shadow demons. No magic attacks. We only have to worry about the fireballs. All right, and before we forget, let's life drain. Let's aim for the thing with the least amount of resistance. That's the crosses at the top right. So we'll do it to some centaurs. Very good. finish these guys off. Raising the city and gaining 376 gold. And because we killed something primarily with life drain, we will get a zombie centaur. And I can show you how that works. Chaos spawn. Not sure if we can beat this. Oh no! Well, there's fire giants with it, but that's okay because that's a mundane attack. Um, yeah, we're, we're okay. We can do this. Whoa! Almost killed us there. That could have been bad. Still, the reward for this place is going to be outstanding, probably. So we'll just wait this out. We only killed one unit. Maybe we can get another set of Shadow Demons up there before too long to speed this up. We are going to clear this out. Maybe we'll even find a Retort. You can gain Retorts. Unfortunately, this is way far off here, close to where Merlin is or was. Technically, he's still in the game, even though he's banished for a long time.
let's do that again. This is curious. Now this one's coming towards us. Wonder what made the difference. Well, unfortunately, we can't use possession. Hmm. Well, we can just kill this fire giant flea, I suppose. What a shame. We definitely will lose the Shadow Demons if we stick around. I was tricked by the last combat where they weren't able to attack me or they weren't trying to. I suppose I could just try to walk around the battlefield for a long time. That's okay. I thought we would be able to... We got a little greedy there. Alright, here's our undead centaurs. It just says centaurs, but you'll see undead down here. And I lied. I guess they don't have an upkeep. So maybe it would be good for us to make some rays early. That is one strategy that you can do, is just make the rays as soon as possible and end up with an unstoppable army. We got these because we primarily damaged it with life drain. Which is good. And we'll keep pushing things into skill. Alright, let's do more life drain. Got some halberdiers that are undead so maybe we'll slowly build not a good army but an okay army let's see can the stone giant kill us maybe hmm was that all of his attacks he only gets two good all right good We'll wait until we get the regenerate. We should have not tried to life drain him. We should have done it to the bears instead. Shadow Demon back. Okay, that's good. Just clearing out some of this stuff. I don't imagine we'll... Yeah, wait, I don't imagine we'll be able to kill anything else, and turns out I'm right. Soon we'll have three, dam uh, three Shadow Demons in the vicinity of her fortress, which is nice. And a little bit of an undead army. Nothing particularly valuable, but... You know, early days. Ah, in the city of Keltok, Merlin casts the Spell of Return. That's interesting because I believe that is actually the... Yes, it is, in fact, the Clackon place that he took from us. How do you like that? Hmm. 
and we don't have any troops near it. Well, we have three priests in this city. I was thinking about attacking them, but we had some problems with priests before, so maybe not. So we'll just keep working on these stone giants and whatnot. And this time, instead, we're going to do life drain on the bears. The mechanic behind life drain is pretty interesting. I'm not sure exactly how it works, actually, I may look that up, but the bottom line is if you use it, you should gain casting skill if you do, in fact, succeed in draining life. Just going to regenerate a bit and finish off this stone giant. careful we don't lose all of our demons because then they will not come back of course oh darn didn't get the kill that's okay we will move towards this road here and get our undead over here Alright, if we want we can start making wyvern riders. Uh, I think we'll start to make this war college first. And we have more shadow demons, very nice. Uh, we're gonna send him... Hmm, I wanna send both of these guys honestly. Is that smart? No it's not. And again, I've been pretty badly defended here for a while. Doing surprisingly well. This could have been taken at any moment, really. But, if Mr. Blue hates us so badly, we might as well take this lizard, lizard place out. So let's, let's see if we can. One of the fun things about these magic roads, which let you move endlessly on them, is you can use them to explore both planes. Roads, of course, are not magic by default on the Arcanus plane, but you can make them enchanted if you have blue magic. We've got a city here that's dwarven. That's a very good race. One of my favorites. But we're not going to be playing them today. Huh. I think that we're going to... We're going to get our Shadow Demons together now. Yes. Unfortunately, we're really not able to use much skill per turn to summon these demons. Maybe we'll see some improvements soon. And we certainly do have a lot of mana lying around. Ooh, sure he has Lightning Bolt. Hmm. 
We'll go ahead and attack again. And we will hit the stone giant with it, even though it does have better resistance than the bears. Just because we want to get some more damage on it, so we can actually kill it with these shadow demons. We're using up quite a bit of mana, spamming shadow, uh, or life drain rather, so much. So we want to be aware of that. Because we don't want to run out. But of course, we can always just increase the amount of mana going into our actual magic reserve if we're too concerned. Probably not going to be able to kill him. Not if we want to be careful about it, most likely. Most likely we'll run out of turns than we did. That's okay, because next turn... Next turn we'll have two Shadow Demons there. Um, he's attacking our undead guys here. We'll just life drain something to... What has the least resistance? Yeah, they all have decent resistance. Because they're dwarves. And again, we're just life draining to get the free skill. Looks like he has access, or she has access to Crack's Call, which has a 25% chance of just immediately killing anything that's not flying or incorporeal. So that's dangerous. Alright, let's stop casting Life Drain so much until we have a little more mana. Things are much easier when you have a group of shadow demons, and it looks like we found a prisoner. Oh, and he's good! Very nice. Another noble. So instead of costing money, he gives us ten, and he's a caster. We will happily, happily accept him into our army. The Wind Mage. And because he has wind walking, he can, in fact, walk right on the water. And we're going to make good use of that. Lots of shamans. Lizard Caves. What an odd name. Okay. Hmm. We should be able to take this city, maybe. The hacker must be an item. I am very concerned about these doom bats flying around, but since she already hates us, I am not too concerned in terms of attacking her and making her mad. Okay, good. We didn't lose anything. Mm. Jeez. Let's, let's life drain, I suppose. I could rack, but I don't think we need to. one set of shamans. I had hoped... Okay, there we go. They're running out of... Or they ran out of some magical attacks. So what we'll do is we'll avoid firing with the low hit point ones until they have all four shots, or all four demons, again. Whoops, we don't want to fire with those yet. That was a mistake. And 
these guys our child's play once we engage them in melee. The walls protect them some from these ranged attacks. Unfortunately, we do have to fight and kill these fire elementals if we want to win the fight. But that's easy enough. Then we'll actually capture this. And we even gained some undead to serve us from it. We're going to go to this tower that's next to our base. Now we need to decide what we're going to do with these shadow demons, and I think the first thing we're going to do is burn down this dwarven city. As much as I'd like to have some dwarves... Well, it's not really working out for us, uh, trying to hold cities in Miror. Just don't have enough soldiers or shadow demons. We may be about to find out if a shadow demon can kill a doombat. Hey, he's attacked us with these manticores. Not too concerned about this. In fact, their resistance is bad, so let's life drain. Killing one immediately. Hmm. keep this shadow demon in our base. And we'll keep this death shaman, which is just an undead shaman. I guess I pronounce that word differently every time I say it. Hopefully that's not too annoying. Uh, we're going to make some dragon turtles here, just for defense. And we do have a temple here. Lizard men are not a terribly religious people. They can't make anything past a temple. But still, We'll dark rituals it nonetheless. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually try to kill this Doombat because I don't like it flitting around my zone. Unfortunately, we have... Oh boy. We have quite an army heading towards our main base. So maybe... Hmm. Jeez, that is quite an army. And we do not have walls. Jeez. We're gonna have to waste all of this production and change to walls real fast because I didn't... wasn't paying enough attention. What a shame. Let's take out this doom bat, or try to. Moves very fast. Very, very fast. So we do a bit of damage to it, at least. Nine resistance it has, which is not bad. Um, it's a chaos unit, a summon. Let's see if we can use terror, and it might not move next turn. But it does. But that's okay, we take it out anyway. If he kills this shadow demon, we're not concerned, because if we win, we get it back. Excellent. At this point, we're more or less waging war against the entire game. That's okay, we like the challenge, don't we? I'm gonna take out these dwarves. Controlled by Freya. And we'll do another life drain. Actually, you know what? We're not going to waste our mana on life drain. These guys have pretty good... Pretty good resistance. Hmm. Where's the hammer hands? Yeah, these guys are really powerful. Try to reduce the number of soldiers in these armies before we have to close in the melee, running out of shots. 
Isn't this nicer with a big pile of shadow demons? I think so. Let's move them forward with the auto. But we'll control this manually now and see if we can be a little clever about the way we fight. Because we may need to pull some guys back as we take damage. I'll always try to move a troop to the front gate so as to stop you from going into the city. Because whenever you walk your troops over the city, you stand a chance of destroying buildings, units, and so on. Burn it to the ground, gaining 404 gold. Not bad. Well, we have a wall here, which will help a little bit, but I am concerned. It would be very bad, very, very bad, in fact, if we lost this city, because that is our main base. In fact, we should be defending it a little more. Cast our rituals here. so concerned about this coming attack that I am actually going to cast, um, geez, I may actually make skeletons. Or we could cast Cloak of Fear. Well, that's only for melee. Yes, we will make some skeletons real fast crappy little unit, which is just meant to take some damage for us, but we can make two of them instantly, and we'll start summoning shadow demons again. Very concerning. Quite an army this lady has gathered, and we don't have much to defend. Serena won't do much. Should we send these back? I don't think so. I think we're going to head east because if we can't defend, then we can't defend. Hmm. There's an outpost there. Halflings. We'd really like to destroy this, but if you recall, she had basilisks, and we just don't have enough to take care of that. So what do we do about this? I think that we will start taking more of these neutral places. A behemoth. We'll give it a shot. You see, the behemoth is just a big fat pile of damage and hit points. Uh, it cannot attack us when we're in the air. So we'll just shoot him until he's dead. Hopefully. Uh, we can't do it. Let's see if we can do one melee hit on him without losing a Shadow Demon. Hmm. We lose two. Pretty consistently. Well, we lost one this time. That's okay. Wait until we have four again. He just doesn't want to go down, does he? Let's see if we can take him with this. No. Again, we don't want to fight without four. 
Ah, there we go, finally. And we'll finish the bears with the next attack. We'll have to fight off the final behemoth. Of course, bears are not too much of a pushover. Alright, there's no way we'll be able to kill this behemoth. Um, he's just too good. We may want to start looking into whether we can cast possession on certain things. I want to say that something has a resistance of, looking it up now, um, hmm. yeah, possession will take control of you until the end of combat, and so it would be pretty nice if we were able to do that to things like this. Let's give it a shot. But we can't. It only works on normal units. I almost forgot. So we'll just... I mean, we'll give it a shot to try to kill this guy, but he's probably not going to go down. We're probably running out of turns, actually. And look how little damage he takes. That's okay. Next turn. Freya attacking us with some trash, not that big of a deal, but this, this is a big deal. Blech. Not ideal. We'll move these skeletons out of the city. So let's see what our healer can cast. Um, she can do healing, which is not terribly useful. Um, she can do terror, though, and that's going to keep the units on their side from moving so often, and we really, really need that. We're also going to cast Rack so that some of these shamans can die. Our big fear here is that we lose the shadow demons, and the shamans are able to do that. Of course, the dragon turtle is also going to cause problems for us, but... The main fear right now is the shamans. Oh good, the shamans are focusing on skeletons. Very good. I'm less concerned about these guys now. Rack is really doing its job. Let's see if we can possess the dragon turtle. We fail. What a shame. We'll attack the dragon turtle. Jeez, and we're out of mana. Skeletons do a little bit of work for us. No. Dang. Unfortunately... Okay, good. We're gonna have to block the front gate here with the shadow demons. Unfortunately we're not going to be able to shoot as well. Hopefully we don't lose it. Okay, good. Looks like we're okay. Alright, this city is safe. Rack will finish off all of this nastiness. Except for the fire elementals. That's okay. I'm glad I built these city walls. If I hadn't done that, we would have lost Serena and probably a lot of people in this city. And Rack, of course, every turn, just taking these guys out. And we'll finish it off. He throws a little bit more stuff at us, but we're not real concerned. In fact, I am going to life drain one of these things because we'll have to spend half mana. That's always nice, right? We get half mana spells if we're fighting right at our fortress. 
This will be a little tougher, but I think that, again, we can just rely on Rack. And these are our halfling swordsmen and spearmen that have been with us since the beginning of the game. Somehow, they have survived this long. Oh geez, yeah, Rack has just taken them out. If they fail those resistance rolls, well, they're not going to have too much luck. And we can just kite them a bit. Still building up these orc cities. Don't think I haven't forgotten about those. Or that I have forgotten about those, rather. Because I haven't. We just need to build up a war college and a uh, stables, and we'll start making those wyverns. Now, let's kill this last behemoth and see what our prize is. Let's just click auto. There we go. Ooh, we found a chaos book. So now, if we go to Info, and we click Mirror, you can see that we have a Chaos book, in addition to all this death. So we can cast Chaos spells now. Alright. We're going to go to Armies, we're going to click our Hero. Uh, wait, no, we need to click Items. We're going to give this wand, the Conjurer's Friend that we found a while back, to Jer. And we might as well stick the armor on Serena, too. This will increase his spell skill. So that's always nice, right? It's good to have heroes in your main base. Very good, in fact. Hopefully this Doombat doesn't head directly to this city, because there's not a lot that would defend against that. And I really, I really can't, um, <clears throat> unless I were to send my heroes, I have nothing that moves fast enough to intercept this unit. Hmm. Really trying to kill these shadow demons, but I don't think they're going to have much luck, especially with such a large group and such bad attackers. In fact, we're just going to click auto because I'm so confident that these shadow demons will just wipe this stuff out. Hmm. Alright. This is our main orc city. Once we have the Mechanician's Guild, we'll start making the Wyvern Riders. Have a nice army that just keeps coming. Hmm. We have this city with doom bats in it. Not so sure about all that. Really wish that we had a little bit more more in the way of an army. But we haven't done a terribly good job of expanding. The real question is, can our shadow demons take out two doom bats? And the answer may in fact be no. Losing those two would not be a good time for us. With that said, I think they'll stay inside the city. Uh, there's no wall, so they won't, but we'll, we'll give it a shot anyway. sleep him. We can try. Uh, excellent. He is, if they don't, if it doesn't get dispelled, this guy is just done. He takes full damage. And so, that's good. I like that. Can we 
life drain him? Yes, we can. And he's done. How nice is that? So we killed the Doom Bats with just two stacks of Shadow Demons. We almost lost a stack of Shadow Demons, but that's not that big of a deal, considering. But they will come back as long as we win this fight, so we have to make sure if we ever do lose a Shadow Demon in combat, that it doesn't end by time running out if we're the attacker. Just waiting for the Shadow Demons to come back a little bit while I fight with the ones that have a full stack. But we'll have a full stack again soon. Hopefully it won't take too long. There we go. Fire elementals destroyed, and so is the uh, the rest of the army. And we'll, we're going to burn this to the ground, gaining 131 gold. Let's see what else we can do down here. Hmm, we do want to try for that stone giant. Haven't forgotten about that, but let's see what this is. Gargoyles, we can take those. Maybe. This could be a problem for us. I think we'll try to use Rack. Uh, no, we'll use Black Prayer. This is a little more than I would have liked to have fought. We're going to cast Terror as well, and maybe stop them from attacking so often. And they're very focused on this guy in the back, so that's why we moved him back. Terror is really nice because, as you, as you can see, they're not really moving. Every single one of them has to roll to even make a move. We spent a little bit of mana doing this. Hopefully, yes, we gain mana crystals. Excellent. That's exactly what we need right now. We've got another Doom Bat here, but we're less concerned now. Let's see if we can't Black Sleep these guys. Didn't work with the healer. How about the wind mage? He doesn't have enough mana. So instead, he'll attack. Hmm. He casts warp wood. of all of our mana on Serena, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to try to black sleep this guy. Ah, good. He's dead. Black sleep, uh, really, it just makes a unit useless. Oh, no. Let's, um, let's, let's try to finish this battle right now, because we got black sleeped. Yeah, when you get hit and you're black sleeped, you take tons of damage. So it's best not to let that happen. Uh, 
Okay, we researched a spell, which probably won't be terribly useful to us. Uh, we'll just try to pick up some... Well, it looks like we can research... I think this is a chaos spell, actually. But we, we, uh, we got that one chaos book, if you remember. Not that I think we'll get much use out of chaos magic in this game, but we'll see. Hmm. This is one of our orc cities, and we would really like to have a fantastic stable. So we're going to go ahead and work towards that. Let's go ahead and get that stone giant. This is the one I think we lost some shadow demons to earlier. Can we black sleep this guy? Unfortunately not. Try again. Yes. The black sleep, uh, black sleep rather, is one of the best spells in the game for how cheap it is and how it just kind of takes a unit off the field or has a chance to. Find a chainmail. Um, considering that we're not really going to be moving these guys out of the base, I think I'm going to actually crush these for mana crystals. Since they are relatively basic. Okay, we have our dragon turtle here, which has fire breath. We're going to try to finish off Merlin. And probably burn down these cities, which have been rudely erected by uh, what's her face, Cherie. More shadow demons are always welcome, though we do need to keep one on our main base. trying to kind of gather up our shadow demons at this point in the game so we can finish it out. I think that uh, we're in a pretty good place to, even if we can't finish the game, uh, we can really start destroying our opponents. Maybe at least kill off Merlin. Probably just gonna do this all in one big long video since we've come this far, and I'll just call it a long play. Okay. Cherie sends some basic armies at us. Let's try to do this without without wasting magic. Even with Eldritch Weapon. Yeah, Dragon Turtle ought to be able to beat these guys, but maybe not. Oh geez, they're not dying. Whatever. We'll just cast Rack. That's fine. Very obnoxious, actually. Really trying to save the mana, you know. Okay. Letting Rack finish him off, for the most part. Had some really bad hits in there. We'll destroy this neutral city. Just gained six gold, lost fame, wasn't really worth it, but whatever, it was in our way. Looks like Merlin's building some roads. We'll see what kinds of defenses he's put up in this Clackon city that we didn't even want. We've learned Corruption, which is a spell we won't be casting. Hmm, drain power. 
wonder if that gives us the power. Costs 50 mana. Hmm. No, it doesn't give it to us. It simply makes us reduce theirs. Uh, and since the game kind of cheats and gives them as much mana as they need, then that's not very useful for us, is it? Uh, let's pick up Berserk. And we have more Shadow Demons coming. Feels like the relative speed that we can make these Shadow Demons is picking up the pace, which is nice. We've got a supply of Dragon Turtles showing up, and it looks like we actually need more mana now, because we were losing it per turn. Which honestly I think is a good sign, because it means we have a lot of these wonderful Shadow Demons. And we're doing pretty well on skill anyway. No report on this city yet. We need to be within two squares. We've got some neutral units heading towards our base. I think we'll be okay, maybe. Um, unfortunately, well, we may have to hope that Black Sleep works for some of this stuff. Nice. Can we try for the hat trick? Very good. Down they go. And we walk off and kill these things without any resistance. Essentially paralyzes them. Okay, we're going to get that fantastic stable. Looks like we have two basilisks here. We can, I think, use this as a test run to see how we fare against basilisks backed up by this wizard's magic. But let's do it with five and not four shadow demons. We have stag beetles here, which can attack us. Let's find out what kind of magic Merlin has. He still has Dispel Evil. That's not good for us, so we're gonna... We're gonna Life Drain him, if I can find the spell. Am I blind? What happened to... Oh, it's right there. I am blind. Yeah, clear out that unit so that we don't lose our stuff to dispel evil. Really need to build up our mana reserves a little more. Here we go. Here come the Wyvern Riders. Would cost 800 to buy, but we build them in two turns. Quite a production base we have here. More shadow demons. I think we're going to really focus on gaining mana instead of skill now. And we're going to try to finish off Freya, or rather take out her main base. Now unfortunately, with the combination of Dispel Evil and these Stag Beetles, uh, we just do not have enough material to take out this guy. So I think we're gonna instead try to meet up with the rest of our Shadow Demon army. Um, where is it? It's over here. Might be faster for us to go around the world and meet them. Nah, we'll try to clear out these two cities. Uh, we might have a little better luck with that. 
Yeah, we probably can take out Sludgeholm here from Freya. And uh, still no report. But we are collecting dragon turtles, so that's good. Not the best unit, but they're pretty good. All right, three basilisks versus five shadow demons. Let's see what we can do. They move quite fast, unfortunately. But we might be able to black sleep them. Yes. That's good stuff. Wow, Black Sleep is really working out for us these days. I like that. Nice. And the city goes down. I am confident with this kind of magic. If we if we have good luck with Black Sleep, we can take down her main city, as long as she only have Baz, uh, has Basilisk there to defend it. All right, we have a ton of gold and not so much power. Let's, let's turn a big chunk of it into power. And let's take a look at this city. One stag beetle, two halberd ears, maybe. All right, good, we have these wyvern riders coming out and they have magic weapons, which means they are able to hit things with weapon immunity and they also do a little more damage than usual. Our heroes will gain some experience, even if they don't, even if they don't have, um, Yeah, even if they don't, they haven't been fighting. That can happen. All right, let's see. I have some minor cities here, but they're not really on the way. Kinda, not really. Let's just walk our way down there and see what we can do. I know how I can soften this up. Ooh, maybe not. He just psionic blasts our units to death. That's rough. Let's rack these guys just to save, save time. Just to make sure we don't lose too much. because there is a small chance that they could spam down these uh, <coughs> shadow demons. That was probably a waste of mana, actually, to rack, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, we probably didn't need to rack here. That's okay. Not too much mana wasted. Whoa, hey, let's turn auto off. I think it might be waiting in between turns. All right, there we go. Sometimes the AI does weird things, uh, and I didn't want to have to retreat from the battle. Okay, here we go. Got another attack on this not terribly well defended city. And this time they have a bard. She's undead. That's weird. They must have cast... Uh, they, yeah, they cast black channels on her. That's funny. Um, unfortunately, that does make it more difficult for us to kill her. Uh, we'll, we'll black sleep these centaurs. Oh, jeez. I guess it comes down to whether our soldiers can kill her, but the answer is probably no. Uh, maybe we should have possessed the, hmm, it's not good. Look, fear, maybe? I don't think that'll work against undead. Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. She goes down. Okay, that's fine. 
Okay, check this out. We're gonna we're gonna send a shadow demon up here to defend it. We have another shadow demon being summoned. Uh, well, now we do. Thought I had another shadow demon being summoned. Okay, and. Instead of trying to fight over here, due to that dispel evil, I think maybe we should just try to meet up with the rest of our friends. So we'll just head over here. We may want to use mundane armies to finish this guy off, uh, such as dragon turtles and wyverns. I think it's about time we started buying some things over here. We'll pay 680 for the Fantastic Stables. We're not going to buy the Wyvern Riders. We'll pay 304 for the Cathedral here. We'll not pay 624 over there. Yeah, the cost is based on how much um, you have worked on it so far, how much production is into it. Looks like some neutrals are attacking us, no big deal. These turtles can take it. A little bit of free experience for them, not much, but I'll take it. Alright, a war college. And a cathedral. This is going to be a good little base of operations, this island. Seems we've left some engineers on here, unfortunately, from from Merlin. Um, he's probably actually he's probably come up from this this area. We need to take that city away from him. Uh, seems like we're losing money, so we're going to talk to our tax collector and bump that up a bit. Now we're getting tons of money. The downside to that, of course, is that you will. have some more unrest. Mm, let's, geez, let's attack. I don't want that to reach my main city while there's no shadow demon there. I'm trying to black sleep me. That's my job. Ah, I failed too. Can I beat it? Not too hot. Black Sleep not doing work today. Let's try again. Wow, he just doesn't want to go down. Okay, we've lost nothing, that's good. Assuming we can finish out this fire elemental without too much hassle. I'm, I'm gonna try to black sleep it. No. Alright, we lose one dragon. Whatever. Dragon turtle. Alright. Have a bit of a traitor problem here, a rebel problem. I think we're going to push for making an army here, actually. And we got more shadow demons, good. We'll summon even more. We'll go back into the city and patrol. This is good, we're really getting these quickly, these um, Wyvern Riders. 
In fact, we're going to turn some gold to power as well. How fast can we make Wyvern Riders here, I wonder? Probably three turns. But we'll get the War College so they come out a little better. Alright, soon we will be taking out Freya's main base. If we're lucky. Or perhaps I should say, if we're not unlucky. Oh, we can take this. I think we can take this. This is quite doable. We will wait for the sixth guy. The sixth guy, that is. More and more shadow demons. I love it. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. I'm not sure where those two shadow demons were that I had near Merlin, but I'm sure they're on the way. Now, I wouldn't say it's like a foregone conclusion that I'm going to win this game, but I would say it's going quite well. She tried to disenchant the rack and failed. Freya is attacking us, by the way. We're not attacking her. Oh, man! She takes out the shadow demons. That's a real... that's a kick in the teeth. Um, that's okay. We still have the six ready to attack her base. It's just a real shame. We'll start gathering some shadow demons near Merlin. And we'll keep summoning more. Our spell skill is getting outrageously good. You notice we can summon much faster now. Um, we won't... Um, we won't alchemize just yet, or will we? Yeah, we're gonna capture this town first, or try to. We should get a ton of mana from killing her. Or banishing her, because when you kill a fortress you get half that wizard's spell. Uh, spell power. We actually should have alchemized because we will have less um, mana for this fight, but I don't think it's going to cause a problem. Let's just rack. That's a fun spell. Take out these priests. No, shadow demons are not unstoppable. Ah, rack got dispelled. Shadow Demons are not unstoppable, as you've seen from some of these units taking them out. But they are quite good. In fact, let's just hit auto. We would have a hard time losing this battle. <laughs> Alright, we'll burn this thing down. Thousand gold. That's good. And Freya's dead. Well, she's banished. So she'll try to come back. We gained some magic, but not as much as I'd like, so let's transmute some of that gold to power. And we'll buy this War College, and we'll have two cities producing what we want. which are the Wyverns. Ah, she attacks us with this army. She probably should have been inside the base defending, but her mistake. Uh, 
that's fine. Clear that easily. And now we're making Wyvern Riders in this place as well. Four per turn. Or one for every four turns, rather. Alright, I think this should probably be enough. I don't remember exactly what we found here in terms of defense, but... I think the main fear for me was that I only had two Shadow Demons, and there was like a ton of defenses. So we'll go ahead and fly this over here and just take a look at what we're dealing with. And we will walk these Dragon Turtles over as well. Meanwhile, we'll burn down as many cities over here as we can. We get attacked occasionally by her patrols, but there's not a lot she can do with mundane units and especially without spells backing her up. It's a little bit of micromanagement here. There is an auto builder for this game, which might speed things up a bit, but this is more of a showcase of the entire game. towards the rest of Freya's empire. And since our six wyverns fly, they are making good progress towards that base. We'll keep summoning shadow demons and sending them out towards Merlin's base. I think we are going to actually... Do we want to put some rates on the board? Maybe. I don't think so. As long as Shadow Demons are still doing the job for us, we'll stick with them. Um, we'll learn Drain Power, but we're not going to actually cast it ever. Okay, this is good take this city out. And in the interest of time, we'll just click auto. This is a Beastman city, I think. These are Minotaurs. Beastmen tend to have a bunch of different kinds of races in them, rather than just one race. So you'll see Centaurs, you'll see Beastmen, you'll see Minotaurs. Just kind of like a faction that's for different kinds of races. But that one, that city is dead. Looks like Merlin is attacking our group of dragon turtles over here. And we're not going to have an easy time with these unicorns, apparently. Um, does black sleep work? Well, it could, but it isn't. They can teleport right on top of us, unfortunately. So, there's no real maneuvering that you can do when you're fighting unicorns. We black sleep the unicorns and they die quite easily. Let's see how these do against phantom warriors. Not the best. Oh geez, they even heal the phantom warriors? Come on. Well, that's okay, we get the black sleep on these guys. What? We didn't. I was fooled by the fact that it was gray. See, this is why I'm not a big fan of mundane armies, especially things like dragon turtles. You think they're going to be good, and then that happens.
Now I may go ahead and end this video once I have all the, um, once they're all banished, uh, even if I haven't hunted them all down. I forget if the game will actually let you win right then and there, if they're still casting the spell of return. Uh, but, you know, I think if I have them all banished at the same time, we can safely assume that I've won the game. Quite a formidable army of shadow demons we have here. Now, I don't think we have found Blue's stronghold, unfortunately, Cherie. Where could she be? Hmm. Well, we'll find out soon enough. But meanwhile, we continue to annihilate Freya's empire. Getting gold every time we destroy a city. Alright, we're next to Keltok. They've got a Dwarven Steam Cannon somehow. Probably a mercenary they bought. A couple unicorns. Wind Mage. And a Bard. I'm not sure if I favor my chances against all this with these uh, Orc Wyvern Rivers writers. Really depends on how nice the game is to me when I cast Black Sleep on these things. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to keep gathering. We're going to keep gathering our army. And not take too many chances. After all, we need to find Cherie as well. Now there is some magic that can help you find bases. There's actually a spell called Awareness that will tell you where all the, all the bases, all the cities in the game are. But the unfortunate thing about that spell is that we don't have it. But it is a neutral spell, a colorless spell, so... Ah, here we go. Need to increase our allocation to mana production again. And we're going to send this guy out into... Well... Hmm. We'll send them out into the unknown. The reason for that is we really want to find Cherie's main base. We've really slaughtered her on the main continent here, but um, but uh, we unfortunately have not found where her actual home is. Looks like we're being blocked by Merlin's units here. Let's just kill these Hamburgers. Some traffic outside my house today, unfortunately. Didn't get black slept. What a shame. Jeez, all these phantom warriors. Well, that's not working out for us. We're going to lose this battle. What a shame. Okay. They're really doing a good job of blocking our dragon turtle reinforcements up there. Clever use of the enchanted road is good if you want to move quickly. And we burn this city down too. We're no longer summoning shadow demons because we're hitting the edge of our ability to reallocate. So unless we start conquering places instead of burning them down, uh, we're going to start having problems. They have attacked one of my shadow demons. Let's cast... Let's cast... well, let's see. Nine resistance. Technically they can be racked, I think. Mm. 
Let's see if we can possess one of them. Yes! How do you like me now? Nice. Yeah, so that is our guy for the rest of the fight. He's our buddy. Possession is very nice, obviously, when it works. And we fight them off. We badly need to turn some gold into mana. We're going to do that real fast. Running out a bit. Ah, that's, there's these chaos spawns and the fire giants. Um, we could give that a shot again. This time with two shadow demons. I think last time we only had the one. Maybe. Once we kill the chaos spawns then it'll be a little bit safer. Oh geez, they are just relentless. Look at this. An outpost. That's okay. We're going to send these women riders uh, in this direction just to sort of create, create some, um, put some fast moving units in the path of these guys because I am not wanting to chase them down with speed one units as they make cities everywhere. Right. Got some more shadow demons here being attacked. They're really trying to go for my supply lines. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna rack because these guys don't have the best resistance. And instead, well we, no, I would say we should attack the war trolls, but instead we're gonna attack the stag beetles because, oh man. Okay, how about possession? Since he's just going to, uh, good, we got it. How about black sleep on these guys? Good. Take him out. Nice. We may or may not be able to defeat these guys. No, we can't. Okay, that's fine. We're just going to click done a lot of times. Now, the trolls, of course, regenerate. But he's the attacker, so he will just flee exhausted if enough turns pass. God, this little um, land bridge. It's not, it's not a fun time. Maybe we'll try to black sleep this. Of course, dragon turtles are really nice when they're being controlled by the enemy, apparently. Black sleep. There we go. Down he goes. But this is a great reason why we need to take out Cherie's base. We need to find and eliminate her so she can no longer use magic. Seems like she's coming from down here actually. So maybe that's where we should be heading. In fact, let's do that. We'll use these roads, because we'll get a little bit of speed off that. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. I've seen so many armies of hers coming from the south. 
that tells me that she's probably there. Let's give this a shot. We may lose some shadow demons, we may not, but I like taking risks. Risky. Uh, we'll try to black sleep if we can. Yes, and we succeed. Try again, maybe? We'll play the kiting game. Now, black sleep lasts forever. So we don't need to worry about that thing waking up unless we end combat with it still alive. And then we'll have to deal with it next time. So instead we're going to use our ranged attacks to take out these fire giants. And see if we can't melee these guys. Um, maybe. Maybe we can melee these guys. Excellent. Sword and an axe. Right, we've got Dragon Slayer, which is a plus two attack uh, flaming weapon, and a plus four attack stoning weapon with the axe of stone. We are just going to get ourselves a big pile of mana crystals. That's good. I'm not really caring much about what we're researching at this point. Just trying to get our troops ready to take out the rest of the wizards. We almost, oh no, we do, in fact, have nine, nine wyverns, wyvern riders. And we have three groups of shadow demons heading this way. Still a little concerned we won't be able to kill all this. Because the wyvern riders are good, but eh, they're mundane. However, we have 988 mana, so we can cast as much as we want up to our skill inside the combat, so we're going to give it a shot. Now, he has a lot of casters, unfortunately. So he's certainly going to be able to cast a lot of spells on us, or on his troops, making them stronger. I see some things here that only have 9 resistance, so we might try Rack. Hmm. Well, I think we'll start out by casting Black Prayer to reduce the strength and defense and resistance of all the enemies. Since this is going to be a knockdown, drag out sort of fight, we want our guys to be better off in combat than their guys. I'm not too concerned about losing this stuff. I mean, if I lost this whole army and burned this city down, I would be pretty happy with the results. Some irony, I guess, that we're attacking this city with an army from the cities that we originally stole from Merlin, right? Let's try some black sleep. On the stag beetle. No dice. Well, fortunately even the swordsmen are able to kill one of our guys. Jeez. Had hoped for something a little bit... Hmm. Had hoped for these guys to be a little bit stronger. But that's okay. 
We'll just bring all of our guys around the city. And we'll cast try to cast Black Sleep on these unicorns. Nice Black Sleep. Probably lose a lot of these guys, especially to the stag beetle. That's okay. Because we have plenty of these guys to spare. We take down one of their heroes. Okay, now it's our turn again. Let's finish off this steam cannon. Maybe try to cast Black Sleep on something else like Sky, because it can happen to heroes. Uh, hmm. I think we're going to click Auto and let some fighting happen for us. Really, the Stag Beetle is the one doing all the work here. And he's done. And the hero can't finish it, so we burn the city down taking 1,200 gold and banishing Merlin once again. He's trying to come back, but he probably won't, because we're going to clear out the rest of his stuff. All right. That's pretty good. Now we only have her. For now, unless one of them comes back. Hmm. Let's explore up here with these demons. And in this direction with these wyverns. Looks like we really just have more hamlets. I think we'll go ahead and clear out these cities with our wyvern army. Oh, Freya's back. She has placed her capital right below our capital. These corruption squares uh, make the square not good for cities around it. It makes whatever you get out of that square null and void. Uh, if we really wanted to, we could be purifying those with shamans or healers, but I just haven't wanted to deal with it. Um, dang. With her right there... Yeah, see, she's, she's actually... Ironically, she put her capital right here. Um, where is my army? Where is my main army? These guys. Okay, we're gonna send the shadow demons to clear her out again, and we're not gonna fight her until we've done that. We'll just explore a bit. should stop using the shadow demons to explore and the reason for that uh, the reason for that is whoops didn't want to do that I should stop using the shadow demons to explore because they are slow I should use them as fighters only because I have wyverns now to do the job of exploration Okay, let's take down this Merlin base. We'll just cast Rack because these are all mundane units with lots of stacks. And we'll click Auto.
one will burn it to the ground. Hmm. Soon we will take out Merlin's last base. At least I think that's his last base. With the help of these shadow demons. And we're going to send these shadow demons to link up with the rest of the army. And they're all going to meet outside of Freya's new capital. I'm a little bit annoyed and perturbed that we haven't been able to find Cherie's base. She seems to be in the absolute last part of the map. In this direction. But that's okay. Let's see if we can't link these shadow demons up with the army as well. And try to explore this just a bit. Well, Freya is not going to be able to clear out this army. I'm not sure why she's attacking. We'll start making berserkers. Uh, no, we'll start making cavalry. Just because they're faster. Yeah. Actually, you know what? We're just going to make trade goods, uh, which will increase the amount of money we make. And the reason for that is it will allow us to not micromanage quite so much. That is the one sort of obnoxious thing about this game, is that by the end of it you're micromanaging a lot, but maybe that's the kind of thing you enjoy. That is essentially what 4X games are about, right? More neutral cities in these places we're exploring, but no Freya. Or Shari, rather. Shari is the one I'm hunting for. We know where Freya's capital is. Merlin is attacking us. Unfortunately for him, he does not have any magic right now because he's banished. So we're just going to let Auto Fight handle this for us after casting Rack. Dragon Turtles and Stag Beetles are basically the same unit, just different races. A one stack that does have Fire Breath. She actually has her base on Mirror. I guess that's a possibility I haven't considered. Hmm. Tempted to summon some wraiths. They will move fast at least. Uh, let's let's do that. more research, not that we care. Now eventually, once you have learned a ton of spells, you'll get the chance to learn the spell of mastery, which simply ends the game uh, and you will be the winner. But the other wizards will try to stop you from casting it, of course, because they don't want to lose. And it costs a lot of mana and it costs a lot of research points to, to learn. We're clearing out this tower so that we can make it down into that orc city. 
Oh, he flees from us. Hmm. It was some of these dragon turtles to take out one of Merlin's bases. But really, we're just hunting for capitals now. Here we are. I think this is Merlin's last city. And now that we have some wyverns down on Mirror, um, we will be able to have some fast explorers there too. Just waiting with these wyverns, by the way, until we manage to finish Freya. Yeah, I wonder if maybe the game glitched and Cherie was destroyed at some point and we just didn't see. But really the best guess is... The best guess is probably that she's on Mirror. Darn. That didn't work for us. We tried to possess the wyverns. We're going to try again. And it worked. Um, he's doing quite well. Let's see if we can... Can I life drain him? You know, we're going to just try to finish it off. Well, that works. Cool. Um, huh. We may very well win this. That's cool. Gain some guys back here. and That's funny. Tried to wipe out our solitary shadow demons. Ah, here's some wraiths. Raids are cool. Um, they have, I guess it's only two movement, but they can fly incorporeally through things, which is nice. I'm just going to send them out to get some work done. And we'll cast Dark Ritual as well. There we go. Um, Merlin was already dead, but that was his absolute last city, and so when I destroyed that last little hamlet, he was finished off and killed. So we've defeated two wizards. One more to go. We'll just send out these wyverns in every single direction we haven't explored. Let's see if we can't find where our rival is hiding. For the most part, Mirror seems like it was pretty desolate this game. on here. We're about to cast, um, yeah, Dark Rituals. Just because we like to get lots and lots and lots of mana. Alright, there we are. Six, seven, eight Shadow Demons in one stack. Now that is hard to kill. Again, sending these Wyverns out to just explore the unknown. It would be nice if we had that awareness spell, but we don't. We could buy this axe. This is 
like a mercenary, only it's a merchant this time. Sometimes people will come by and try to sell you things. We say no. We haven't seen a lot of that kind of thing this game because our it's based on your fame. And my fame is bad. And the reason for that is because I keep burning cities. I do like that I have all these wyverns just all over the place. And here we are! We found it! We found it, and it has a hajillion doom bats. That's cute. Alright, what's going on here? We want to finish off Freya here. I didn't even look at what she had, but I'm sure we're fine. Yeah, slingers. What's funny is, if you recall, this Eventon city below our main city... I, I say below because I th I'm thinking of it like it's the Underdark, but really it's a different plane. Um, but anyway, it's on Mirror, basically the exact same spot where our capital is, and we settled this place. You'll notice it's halflings. But, nevertheless, our shadow demons roll through it. Looks like they've run out of shots, but that's fine. They'll just move forward and clear it out. Mm -mm. Maybe I'll turn auto off. It's okay that we're losing shadow demons, because as I said, if you, um... If you win, it doesn't matter. We can attack through walls with these guys because they're incorporeal. Jeez, this, these basilisks though. Or should I say this basilisk? I'm gonna try to relax sleep on. He's really putting up a fight, I'll tell you that. Jeez. He may be about to lose this army. Alright. Let's... Let's life drain. Dang, that is just not working out for us. Oh my god. Is it really just the stone skin that's doing it for him? We just have to really hope we get the black sleep. Yeah, okay, there we go. He's done. Burn it to the ground. And Freya's banished. Hey, we got a Doombat spell. That's not bad. That's actually a Chaos spell. We only have one book, but we have a very strong spell in it. We could now summon our own Doombats if we felt like it. And honestly, it wouldn't be a bad decision. They move very quickly, as fast as these uh, wyverns, wyverns, not sure how that's actually pronounced. And we'll just mop up these cities, but like I said, if I manage to get all four wizards banished at the same time, uh, I'm just going to declare victory, because the rest of the game would just be tedium. That's that awareness spell we wanted. What? I guess a neutral town just joined us for no reason. Because there was a, a marriage or something. Hmm. That's curious. It's this little spot down here. I'm not sure why a town would want to join my horrible evil empire, but... Sure. Whatever, we'll just leave it on trade goods. Huh, we even got like an army here. That's funny. Well, sure, we'll, we'll move four of them out to attack. Alright, let's move all of our armies towards Mirror. Or towards cities of our opponents. Here are these wraiths. We'll send them out, and we'll just auto-attack. 
they're going to kill all these things, and we're going to raise the city, and we're going to get all those guys as minions. So one totally viable strategy is to just build a ton of... Oh, wait, no, it wasn't on mirror. Whoops. Um, but yeah, a totally, totally vi viable strategy is to just make raids off the start. And it probably would have been faster than this, honestly. But yeah, okay. Send our guys down there. That was a mistake. Mm-hmm. And we'll just, we'll just keep sending guys in that general direction. Let's take our wyverns back from Mirror. And send more shadow demons in the direction of that city we'd like to take. In fact, what should be the last battle of the game. We'll even send the wraiths down, maybe we'll get to have a little fun with them. You notice we got all those guys we killed as undead, so that's always nice. And we'll just keep moving as all of our armies one by one. I'm out for blood. We're almost there. Just gotta wait for the armies to get there and we should be able to finish out the game. Of course, at this point, there's not much they can do to challenge me. And I do believe the music actually changes, like this sort of pleasant, I'm not sure how well you can hear that, but this sort of pleasant um, music will play if your score or whatever is higher or close to the opponent's, and then a more it's kind of somber musical play if you're not. So we're getting the the winner the winner's music, I suppose, right now. Let me I'll turn that up a bit. Hopefully that's coming through. Gosh, Cherie really was in a remote spot. Uh, which worked both to her credit and to her detriment, because when the AI spawns on a little island like that, they tend to have a little bit of trouble, um, we don't want this, they tend to have a little bit of, bit of trouble getting off of it. But then again, you would too, as a player. Uh, moving off of an island is a little bit obnoxious, because you have to find a way to transport yourself or your settlers, unless you just want to conquer things. suppose you could use shadow demons, actually. And that would be one option. Looks like Freya is guarding this tower with some of these guys. But Freya's dead right now, so... Oh my. Huh. Wow. They killed the wyvern. Oh well. Not a big deal. I'll turn this back down a bit. All right. Won't be too long until our troops get there. As you can see, they're just kind of moving. And we're finishing out these Freya cities just in case she tries to come back. These basilisks, though, wow. Good unit. Unfortunately susceptible to black sleep, which is how we've been killing so many of them. But with that stone gaze, they can instantly kill, I think. They have a chance to just kill off units in your stack. But with black sleep, 
They don't live. They die. We're going to use these undead that got formed when we used the wraiths to kill off this little town over here. As you can see, they work almost as well as the regular living unit. Pretty much just as well. Some differences, they count as undead, so they're immune to death spells. They're susceptible to certain life spells, like Dispel Evil. But for the most part, they're good to have. You'd rather have them than not have them. Having no upkeep is a big benefit. They don't regenerate, I don't think, so that can be a bit of a hassle. Okay, here we go. Very soon now. My massive army is slowly, but surely, inexorably, coming to take out Shari. Of course, she's not happy about that. So she's going to try to hassle us. Somehow she has Dark Elves. And she's attacked these Wyvern Riders that are out here. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Well, just for fun, let's try to possess the Berserkers. Didn't do it. Alright, she takes it out. That's expected. Hmm. We're on the ocean, hence the background, but these lizard men are able to swim. Hmm. Wonder if I can make an undead, uh, an undead settler. And uh, she casts some spells on my wraiths and then flees like a coward. Quite an army here, but nonetheless, our Shatter Demons are coming, along with a Wraith Friend. I'm not sure where my main Shadow Demon army is, but the Wyvern should be sufficient to take out this problem. Oh, what am I thinking? I forgot that these dragon turtles can swim, of course. That's the difference between them and stag beetles. Should have been sending them down here the whole time. Well, mistakes were made. We'll leave it at that. Next turn we should be able to attack, but it looks like they have other ideas with this army. I'm not going to try to rack again. Um, instead, I am going to try to possess the Berserkers. And we don't get them. We'll just click auto for one move. We may unfortunately lose this army. Jeez, we can't get these guys. Well, we can, but we aren't. Black sleep, huh? How about her? Dang. Well, our magic fails us. It's a shame that we're not doing much to... Ah, she runs. We didn't do anything to her defenses, really. Ah, here we go. 
Hopefully I sent some people out to meet us. Hopefully our wraiths can life drain a bit. Oh good. I'll get some free hit points off that. Wraiths may in fact save the day here. Now, unfortunately, because those were fantastic units, that is to stay not mundane units, we don't get to get zombies out of those. Hmm. We're gonna wait one more turn. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and attack. We may or may not finish this battle out. Depending on how we do. Can't possess the Doom Bats. Keep forgetting that. We can just black sleep them. Yeah, we probably won't be able to fight these Doom Bats off with these Wyverns, but we will weaken their defenses, and that's good enough. Then again, we might be able to finish them with the power of black sleep. Thankfully, we get lots and lots of castings of black sleep. We'll go ahead and try to fight them a bit, but I don't think it's going to work if they're not sleeping. Yes, that is not working too well for us. Of course, we'll try to black sleep the ones with full hit points. Ah, nice. And he's going to go down very easily. And now, after this casting, we're out of skill. We fail, and so we're just going to hit auto and see what happens. Killing two of the bats, not half bad. I mean, considering that it costs 300 mana to make one of those things, or more if you have, or less rather, I guess, if you have enough fire books. Still, being able to destroy it with a 5 mana or 10 mana black sleep is nice. And Cherie is defeated. And I'm going to call that game. Everything else would just be mop-up. A little few cities over here. But that's Master of Magic. A game that is very old, but I enjoy it. I think that... I think that this game, a lot of people would really like to see a sequel to it. Or a spiritual successor. And I don't think any 4X game has really done it quite right. Uh, to make a game that has the same the same spirit, the same feeling as this game. It's kind of like they keep failing to make successful Master of Orion sequels. They just kind of keep trying to do cash grabs that have very little to do thematically with the original two games. Uh, I think that it's it's been difficult for people to make a clone of this or a successor to this that actually feels right. Although they've certainly tried. So that's it, and I hope you enjoyed my showcase of Master of Magic.